one of my duties that I want to do is to make sure that I revive the music of all the South African legends. Mm. And I need to sit down with Ubabu Huma Sikera, Bab Jonas Kwangwa, to say, hey, daddy, please give me an opportunity to just do your music. Mm. And lucky enough, all the, the ones that I approached to talk to, hand in hand, you know. Mm. So they said, we're just giving you the blessings. Really? So this. Did they give you rights to perform their, their, yeah. their music? 100%. On and off camera? 100%. Wow. You know, that is why most of them, the only thing you find here, which it's to me, it, it sounds like a joke. A pastor can go and buy a SM58 microphone just for him to preach mm. and buy this musician's Joseph microphones. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is, why? Why are they even doing that? I so know. it's really they want to go all out. They can yeah. go all out for the church. We are, I started dating my wife since 2014. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to teach her the, this industry, but it's not an easy journey. It's, it's not an easy journey. No, it's not an easy journey. Whether it's Amaili and every performance, yeah. uh, coming back late, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Who recruited you to Twan Gospel Choir? I just saw a poster um, about auditions, mm -hmm. and um, and I saw the poster on the same day at the audition. Mm -hmm. And Gary, guys, can I please uh, reserve the space? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, just come. Mm -hmm. And I went there unprepared. I just trusted the Lord that I'll be part of this. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once again for joining us. And today is another day. So a lot of you don't know, we, we record in advance. So we, we took about a three-week gap. And uh, it feels like I'm doing this for the first time. So please, please bear with me. And before I go any further, today we've got a sponsor. His name is King Flace. He brought more merchandise. You see, he's, he's packaging. You can see this man, man. And I'm wearing his T-shirt here. So please go out and support him. He produces sneakers, jackets, hoodies, everything that is anything where this man is producing. He's doing wonderful things. And uh, we've gone on a concerted effort to make sure that we support his brand and we make sure that it's out there. So please look out for King Flace on all social media platforms. So King Flace. We're looking out for you, boy. But now, moving uh, swiftly along, we've got a dynamite in, uh, in studio today. But before I go there, please, please continue to support us. We appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification so that you can hear when, uh, when, when, when our new content is coming out. So please look out for our new content. We are doing things and we, uh, we are trying to do new things. Uh, we, we've got a special something for you. So look out for that. So look out for that. But without any further ado, we've got a, a giant in studio. He performs with big guys small guys and average average uh, every, every south africans because he performs his weddings uh, he performs at the at the what do you call that place i'm bet arena he's everywhere this man so he's 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 really humbled me by coming through today his name is none other than mandla Ndax. Also, that. What's up? Good night, good night. We, fi we finally made this happen. Yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's happening. Ne? Yeah, yeah. And 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 King Flay's uh, got very lucky because we we doing your interview when I've got a stylish person in the in the room. <laughs> hey, man, how dresses you? Mean? Uh, Conquer Republic. Yeah. And um. In fact, the journey. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like you know, you know, there's no you're addressing yourself. <laughs> Mona, this guy is always born to have seen him. This man. Hey, let's come. I try. Mona, <laughs> man. Right now, man, let's come. So, so, right? <laughs> What's up, my brother? Thank you, thank you very yeah, much for coming. Thank you for having me as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. And you know what, ne? Um, I thought, let me assume you're not happy, but I mean, what's a mummy load? Mummy load, yes. And you in social now? Move it to social. Move it to social. I've been in social for close to six years now. Serious? Yeah. What do you call it? Let me bend. To let me bend. Oh, Zakir. Zakir. And not too far. Not too. I think it should be like twenty minutes from my house to to his place. Ne? Yeah. Yeah. How to a musician at my house. <laughs> this man is accomplished, eh? 
<laughs> no, I, I see Mangle Mang, you know that. Yeah, true, 100%. No, 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 no. 100%. I see, I see, I see, yes, I see yes, Mangle Mang. Yes. And uh, you don't know the reason why I decided I need to have this man here. Uh, I came to your, to your show with my wife. Yeah. Uh, who, who's that guy? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> and what people don't know is um, I knew you from long ago. Yeah. But Nerit's only from a distance. Yeah. You know? True. Uh, I think I, I started noticing you when you started doing things level Lali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can I can attribute Lali or Lali really introduced me to, to people like you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm honored, my man. Thank you so much. So you're from Kangala, right? In Kangala, yeah. Kangala. That's where I'm coming from, yeah. Was the Obra Sange Chen? No, no, no. Like you came out. Kimo Kimo pay this Zulu or only Chingong Ghana. But in the in the Kuluma, but in the but 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 all Ghana it's mixed. Yes, mixed, but know. the prominent language. Yaman Debe. Yaman Debe. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Kulis Debe. Yeah, yeah. but in Hanet la pitori tin si si trope ni shay Hanet trah marasbu. Kilo na ne? Let me just agree on their behalf. <laughs> Mara, I've heard you speak uh, Sindebeni. Yeah. And you speak yeah. it proper. Yeah, yeah, true. Ne? True. It's part of the culture. Go, go, the culture, go. I yeah. Besides, I get it as an artist. Um, I just made it in Chiaori. I need to try as much as I can. Yeah. Because I can't go to uh, Limpopo and I'm a Zulu and I can't even relate to their language. I hear what you say. So I'm trying by honest to at least master yeah. all these 11 languages. Did you say minister? Master, no, no, no. Oh. not minister. <laughs> no, I get around how travel I do. You minister, uh, yeah, I get do. Minister. Minister. Get minister. Yeah. 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 You yeah. must be all things to all men so you can save some, yeah, true. That, that's true. what they say. True. True. Mm. So, I've heard languages, I know, no, no, no. yeah, I'll, I'll likely fight. No. Then you left in Kangala, right? Yeah, but before you go there, I want to talk about your introdu introduction to church, yeah. As far as I remember, you started playing at Given Dad's. No, not playing, singing at Given's dad's uh, church. Given what he bought? Yes, um, Given Sutor, Given Life Ministries. Yes. Yes, you. So, Mr. Zabara from Khan. I'm from Duke. So, that's where you started playing Libo Lali. Libo Lali, yes, yes. Yeah. That's where everything, that's where everything that's where it started. started. Yes, yes. And By then, below, we used to have that group called Voices of Praise. Aha. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about the group from primary school. Oh, Khan, Khan. Yeah. My first group was when I was still doing Standard One. Standard one? Yeah. What's the name group? Standard one? First group, yeah. Bright Angels in Davidson. No more time, my brother. There are station. No, we used to sing. I wish I, I, I had some clips back then. Mm. But, well, well, because we, I still remember the response as, as Colom. Mm. Every Monday we had assembly. And, yeah. and when we have that group on assembly singing, mm. the assembly just become something else. Serious? Yeah. So you used to conduct them and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So what you're doing now is something you started back then. Back then. Well, I think the first time Kemal, Kemal had a big choir conducting. I was doing, doing started three. Ne? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're not lost, my man. <laughs> no, I believe I'm on the right, right man, track. Yeah, yeah. And you, you grew up in a, in with you, with, with a single parent, with your mom. My mom and dad, both of them. Both of them. They're still alive, both of them. They're still together. Yes, they're still together. Ay, man. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm telling you, they're still together today, up to date. Really? Yeah. Kongangal. <laughs> Kongangal. They're staying together. Our now mga roots will come back. What's up, my wife? They're still together every day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I believe. You know, when I, I look at people who grew up with both parents, I had my grandmother and my grandfather who, who raised me. Ash. But you wish you had Papa. You know, yeah, it yeah, hits I differently. You. I hear you, my brother. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. So when you said, now nah, I want to do music, don't they stop you? Um, you know, like any other parents out mm. there, um, maybe it's because of the background, the art. They, they are home, they are mm. arts and drugs, you know, all that, mm. all those things. So, but when I got the new worry, this is what I want to do mm. for the rest of my life. Mm. But they always tried to find a way, you know, have something on the side. Something to fall back on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they really pushed this one then uh, as a minor, mm. so, you know. So, I remember when I was doing Standard 9, mm. I told my mother and my father to say, next year's a metric now. And uh, immediately after matric, please allow me to do anything that has to do with music. Yeah. And we agreed. 
then come a year where <laughs> uh, Kilo go metric now, and now the plan here change. Mm -hmm. So I remember I I I I I to a scholar here in Pretoria after metric. They said to me, um, I can do anything, any other thing, mm -hmm. but the art, like they said, mm -hmm. it must be a minor thing. Yes. You know? So so I was so angry on that day, and Gorkanova for the first time we were towards my parents, and I'm not proud of that. Um, I waited for them to go to work, mm -hmm. and I took all my clothes, put them inside pla uh, 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 the plastic that has been. Mm -hmm. Went to the bus. I had no money on that day. The only it was only Tuesday. I remember the only money that I could try and and uh, raise is to sell ticket here bus from Wednesday up to Sun up to yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Then Kisab, I got that money. Um, and I remember get that more. Where did you stay at that point after leaving home? Um, for two weeks, there's a shelter called Pretoria Street at uh, 20. I used to sleep under that garage. You lie. Up until, <laughs> up until I got Lali and yeah. given. So I didn't have a phone that time. I don't remember who directed me or they're staying there. Yeah. Then I went to Hriff Street in Sunnyside. Yeah. And I am a Mofad and Gabet Hamlodi, Ralim Ludi, and Gabet and they just woke up from conflicting about Bambona Yiko class. Then that's how I started just to be in Pretoria. Um, for some time, mm. it was tense at home. It was very tense at home. Mm. But I always said this to my heart, Tori. Um, I'm not doing this to bring pain to my parents, but I'm doing this so that one day they can be proud of me and say, Really, this is what he wanted to do. Yeah. You know? And I can tell you now, every time when I do shows, I share the stage with my mom. Mm. You know, we do duets together. They support me 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. But are we told now when you see, when you see that uh, uh, the music industry is not as friendly as you, you thought it might have been? No, not, not, not really. Um, I think I can take it my Motelay. I realize or there's so many portals mm. that will never make us comfortable. Yeah. Um, so, uh, brother, okay, I'm in a space where I'm just ready anytime. Yeah. When when the I'm better than stone lugamo, I'm always ready for that, and I, I'm always ready to find a way to fight back. Mm. You know, because I think we've seen this with I've, I've, like enough. I've worked with internet portal. Mm. And he shared a lot of stories about the, uh, his journey. And uh, most of the things that they went through is what we are going, going through, through now. now. So just to give you know, there will never be a change. Mm. Therefore, I must find a way to always strive, strive to be a better artist. You know, and I'm not saying it's easy. Mm. Uh, we've been in the industry before. <laughs> we still continue to share the love with them, you know. Um, yeah. um, um, I think there's a lot we can say in terms of industry. Yeah. No, this industry, I think it's... But you must have a strong vision and strong heart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you nailed it when you said vision, because without a vision in this industry, true, true. You, are, you are basically doomed. So tell me, yes, you came to Sunnyside, but you spend a lot of time with Mami Lodin. Not, not really. You do. The brands are going for it. Yeah, in terms of spa. Yeah, 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 true, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So you did. You spent a lot of time with my melody, mm. and then obviously when you went around my melody, you knew people like Colin. Yeah, hundred percent. And everyone knows Colin. He's a beast, you know. Yeah. And when you start working closely, Lena, yeah. and rubbing shoulders, Lena, did you, did he, did he mentor you in any way? Yo, even to today, mm. uh, Colin Osantani, I, I still take him as one of. The people who are adding value daily in my in my in my um, artistic lifestyle, mm. because it's not only mentoring me music-wise, yeah. but even business in the music, yeah. um, even character in the. Yeah. I think most of us gospel artists uh, or artists in general, um, for instance, after Letam Bulian Kefa Simenya, my favorite couple is Colin and Boy. Was, you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> Even when coming to uh, the relationships mm. and all that, they really inspire us, mm. you know. So Colin played an important role in my life. In your life. Even yeah. when I started working with Tuano Gospel Choir, yeah. he's the first guy to say this one high anyway. I want him here and... <laughs> Before you go there, 
before we talk more, we'll do something important or as a couple they encouraged you. Yeah. And I understand. I see you've got a. Yes, sir. It's a platinum. Yes. My God. <laughs> Diamond trimmings there. You are. You are. You are married. I'm no? married, sir. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And how's how's marriage as a musician? Ah. Uh, uh, I think it's nice. Mm -mm. It's nice. You see, but... it's cut, cut, cut. I give myself. I think it's nice. But don't well nice Yeah. I want to understand. Yeah. Uh, the challenges of being married, sure. Young, fellow famous, yeah, sure. Uh, the temptations that are out there, from a man's point of view, and tell me how you, like how did you, how did you get to this point where you're still wearing your ring? Um, when I got married, mm. I told myself that I want to stay with one woman. Um, <laughs> have kids with the same woman, right? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Yes, yes. Not thinking about the industry. Yes. I'm just thinking about the lovey-dovey lifestyle. Yes. You know? Yeah. But now, when since mm. then now the spark just started. Now. Yes. Um, some of those sparks they make sure that you must just move away from this industry mm. because our industry is just like this. Sometimes you. Finance-wise, you are okay. Sometimes you are not okay. You know, uh, there's those seasons. Yeah. So, because marriage bef before the music industry, yeah, it's dynamics by itself. True. When you True. at the music industry, True. those dynamics becomes uh, it's serious. Of something else. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, uh, how have you? I want to understand how you survived. All this time, you know, Bongi and Colin, I understand, you know, they travel together. It's easier for them. Yes. Your wife has to do her own thing. You have to travel. You're on the road. Mm. My brother, it's, it's, I don't want to lie, it's, it's not an easy thing. Ne? You know, there was, a, there was a time, so I just told myself, oh, you know what, let me just be single. Mm. This marriage thing, it's not working out. And it's not what, what I expected or get like told. Because remember, I met my partner before. Every day and supporting me every day. Mm. But now when we, we're together, it's no longer the same energy mm. that uh, we both had Before. there, you know. Yeah. I don't know what is it. I think in marriage there's this thing, personally, it doesn't sit with me. Yeah. By the time they join, all is well. Everything is just mm -hmm. happy times. They are more than anything else. Mm. But once they start to I do, I do. What changes there? There's this. <laughs> Is it the you work up <laughs> taking? Yeah, now, now you know you are starting to work in an office somewhere. Mm. You are working based on the paperwork, instruction, yeah. and all. So it doesn't bring peace. That, mm. that I must say, it doesn't bring peace. And Arona, unfortunately, we are artists. You you cannot minister to people if your heart is not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From home, you cannot. And sometimes we, you take your partner along. To the same performance, knowing very well that we are not okay, both of you. Yes. And you have to sing as if all is well. Mm. And after you, you leave in the stage, after leaving the stage, going back to the car, that thing comes back again. The tension starts again. So mm. it is not an easy thing. To how, 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 how do you deal with it? Like, how did you overcome it? Then, honestly, yeah, um, I feel sometimes like it's okay, mm. without even saying anything. Mm -hmm. But now I think the only solution I I trust the Lord enough mm -hmm. to deal with anything. But did you talk about it? We spoke about it okay. several times, yeah. several times. But now this is the, another challenge about the industry is that okay, this is my take. The more Uber more recognized, the more you're getting a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. The more people they call you, of course. So at some at, like there's times like now I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Uh, um, I'm teaching offenders more correctional services. Yeah. So now, sometimes I leave my place like for over four days every weekend yeah. for like six months. So I'm born a weekend. Um, if you know, if we, and I can hunch you when we the couple of we're saying we want to marry the right people. Yeah. Dr. once said you'll never know the heart of a person until you stay with them. Until you stay with them. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm still, even to date, I'm still, we are, I started dating my wife since 2014. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to teach her the, this industry, but 
It's not an easy it's journey, my brother. No, it's, it's not an easy journey. Whether it's Amalia and every performance, yeah. uh, coming back late, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. And now the thing is that when you sit home, like how like a Khalid Nebari bomb make one of them higher then I'm not talking they must go and work. Yes. You know. But now um, I think we need to we need to get the people who, who came up with this concept. They must come back and refix things. Because then like example brought on only fifty cent. Now bread is no longer fifty yeah. cent. Everything is just expensive now. Of course. So if I go as and and work less yeah. and there's um family here that I need to take care of. Yeah. So somehow, but Lima said about already need to get to a stage where they say they give us blessings. Go work. To go and work. You know. Then you and no but I go to work even if you can get another booking or follow up or airport. But you can still take it. You can just go. But now if you know that you are not in a good space yeah. when coming to the family issues and yeah. your 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 work, yeah. you will you will cancel that job. So now tell me. Uh, I see your brother, he's a very young man. I think yeah. he's very young. Yeah. Would you encourage him to get married? I will, but I'll be, I'll be honest with him. Mm. Um, you know what they do in our counseling? They mostly speak about good things than the bad things. Mm. Yeah, so we, you get to the marriage just because of you want to prepare for the wedding. Mm. But after, the, after the, the wedding, now that's when the marriage starts. Mm. After this celebration, that's where everything starts. You know, that's why you find most couples, they even fight the day after the wedding. Yeah. Because we're done now with, <laughs> that, yeah. with the pre. <laughs> then the post part, that's when yeah. things are getting tense, you know. Yeah. So I will, honestly, I will, I will encourage him to, to, to get married for many reasons. Um, but I will be honestly with him to say, um, if this, you are not ready for it. This, you are not ready for it. Don't, don't tap into that uh, space. So what's your view on uh, polygamy? Polygamy. <laughs> If I was not a Christian, obviously, based on Omuto I, Pilivele's win, I would say yes, I'm tired. But because of I know the truth. What's the truth? Mini Pai Pelegan Funda Ile Mufumele Wutin Tate is still. But okay. all the great men in the Bible, they were, uh, a lot of them were polygamists. Did it end well? Or does it end one more one? <laughs> <laughs> so I, think, I don't know. One of, okay, besides, besides, we can't, we besides, can't, besides all biblical, I'm saying is we can't, we can't, we can't put a, a law when there is no law. Is I mean, there a law that says a man must marry one, one way? Not, not really. Okay. But uh, in English, already with one wife, I've messed up some <laughs> gender. So, so you can't handle two or three. I, I can't handle two. <laughs> I, honestly, I can't. Uh, you know, I can't. Yeah. Go it. I got a very serious and very strong serious, so. yeah. Because with what I have now, I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> with just one. And you have kids? Yes, I've got kids. Two kids. You got two kids? Yeah. And are they from the same mom? Not from the same mom. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that dynamic did it not uh, make things difficult? Um, I need to be honest, man. Um, it was not an easy one. It's not an easy one yeah. to date. Uh, but there's nothing I can do. I need to face the situation. 100%. And the reality as it is. As long as I'm there for my kids, I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy. And the, the baby mama, does, does she give you access to your child? Because um, that's another problem men don't talk about. It's yeah, fair true, like apart true. Because... Uh, men are called dogs, men are called mm. trash, mm. but there are a lot of men who say, I want to actually look after my child, yeah. but the, the, some women are blocking, yeah. and it's, it's, a, it's a serious problem out there. Uh, I, I think, I think that's all. To tell you the honest truth, man, I think much as they sing Amatota is Zinja, and all other words, they're saying Amatot. I think there's something that they are doing. You know. And why I'm saying that? Volume, please. I want to hear this one. There is no need, if I broke up with you, there is no need to go to Mdwana. 100%. Especially when I'm willing mm -hmm. to still take care of Mdwana. I want Mdwana, you understand? Yeah. So, no need for you to go to Mdwana. But now, this is what we go through most of the time. Because of now, I have this new uh, partner. 
Then now, I need to call meetings that both of them, to meet and talk with, okay, would like to uh, um, uh, no baba, so that is, uh, this uh, connection, if you and all. But always you'll find with this two. Mm. They don't agree. Mm. Or they don't even don't want to meet. Mm. If they can find with I went to see my daughter somewhere. It's um, a problem. It's a problem. Um, if, if, um, um, you know, this is what I do. Uh, uh, that's why I told myself, Guti, whether they agree or they don't agree, if I want to spend time with my kids, I'm going to do that. Mm. They need to know that Mubaba mm. Wabo, and I need to play my part as a, mm. as a father. So once I see, which, when I ask, we are in disagreement and all that, I just take a decision. Mm. Go see my kids, spend time with them, come back. Mm. I become happy. That's one of the most difficult things of being an adult, eh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> all, fri friends, uh, all the friends I've got who've got uh, multiple kids, they'll tell you. Yeah. The, 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 the baby mama drama is a real thing. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, after you've explained, you know, uh, uh, I've, I've not been through it, but I can just, I can just see, yeah. you know, yeah. with your emotions. And you know what they do? That's what they, they, they can say, no, it's fine, I give you blessings. Mm. You can hear the tone, eh? Yeah, the tone is... Fine. Yeah, I'm... I'm sure I'm... Say yeah. But you know that thing, it's gonna... Somewhere, yeah, it's waiting for you. 100%. So... Hey. This is what it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is what it is. Let's leave that one. Sure. I, I needed somebody to come and uh, uh, put clarity on that from, okay. from first hand. You know, some of us, we don't... We can only take from people like you. Say, yeah. Hey, guys. If, if possible, hey amen, have ch kids with one wife, one yeah. woman. Yeah. The dynamics are very challenging because sure. I've got friends who go through the same. Sure, sure. So now, church. So I told you which, which church we... Yeah, to my life ministries. Where, where, yes, where, but um, your experience of church, because I know, okay, I don't know, but now, now, but last year, uh, last year, you were singing in a church in Pretoria North. Uh, yes, Antioch Fellowship. Yes. yes. So, and then, one thing I know about you, you're a, you're a church boy. Yeah, yeah. It's a church man now, but yes. you're a church boy. Yeah, 100%. You know, uh, your music is greatly influenced by, 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 by church. Yeah. What is your relationship with church and pastors? Um, 100%. Because... First thing, before I even make a good relationship with the church, mm. I make sure that I'm in a good space with the pastor. Mm. Not only as a church member, but as somebody that I can always have an access to talk to. Mm. Um, somebody that can always advise me. Mm. And I think I'm lucky because mm. all the pastors in Wazilu serve are underborn. Um, at some point, they treat me like one of like my pastor at Antioch. Mm. He would call me and say, Drax, uh, let's come, come, let's meet, let's go and have coffee. Mm. I, want to, I want us to talk man to man. Mm. It's right to find a pastor saying, calling you just mm. to sit down and talk to you. And the mouth fell up, you call money out. Mm. You, you, we are bored. Mm. You say everything that you want to say. And he's not judging you. He's able to assist, help where possible. Mm. And where, where he doesn't know, you will always tell him, hey, man, this one is a difficult one. Mm. But let's maybe try to to fix to fix or uh, look at things this way. Yes. Uh. So so I, I always make sure that my relationship with the pastor is okay. Then automatically my relationship with the church becomes okay. Becomes okay. Yeah. So you are good with pastors. I don't churches. remember having problems with the churches apart from the normal one where there's money involved. <laughs> Up until I made a decision to say, uh. um, um, I will seek the I'll seek the face of God. Mm. And God will always take care of me. Mm. So um, normally I don't charge when going to churches. I just take whatever they give me. Mm. Um, if they don't? If they don't, that's... that's hey! You keep on top of They pay you at your church. Because you know, hey! you know what's happening? Is that you go the minister with the hope that you'll get something. Yeah. And one thing I told Lentole, you go to your statuses, you write about the pastors, which is not every pastor who does that. Yeah. And the name you tell him is that they are never honest with themselves. 
mm. before they try to convince us. Mm. You can't promise me I'll give you 10K, I'll give you 15K or whatever. Knowing very well that even you're offering a church, it I doesn't get that. to 1.5. Mm. You know, so you are lying just to have me in your building. Rather to say, in fact, we do not have anything in this church. Uh, and be honest. So according to you, the honesty is 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 what the issue is. Don't promise me something that you don't have. Mm. Yeah. But I heard the way you guys are playing. Hey, because the band is proper. I came there one Sunday. <laughs> ah, the band is proper. Like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you guys are getting paid. Like, hey. There's no way. I, I, I can't say it's a payment, but it's a compensation. And in, in a compensation, why I'm saying that because. Our pastor is somebody that is not greedy, that I must say. He's not greedy. When he has something, he, he knows how to share with uh, us. Nice. So it's not those pastors who are saying, uh, you must serve. Because even Alec I'm not serve. We need, there's a lot of words that we use. Yeah. Uh, spiritual, which are not spiritual. They are just, as bala good man, just like a leg. Look, most of the churches now, as you speak, uh, that's all. They don't have proper musicians. Mm. Most of the churches, mm. they just take anyone during the church. Come, please join us, join us. Mm. You know, because they don't want to fix linking a lazy. It's going mm. to between the pastors and the musicians. Mm. You know, there's a lot of churches that I know, you know my brother. Mm. And when they call us to come in and sing there, the first question ask them, do you have a band? Mm. It's so difficult for pastors to to to, to answer that one. How is your sound? Mm. It's another problem. Mm. They never, they never invest when coming to Saudi. You know, the other time, um, I went to Pastor Solomon Khan's church. Mm. I think in South Africa, it's one of the churches that I can say everything is proper. Mm. That's how, from sound, from just everything, it's, mm. it's proper. It looks like it, they're going to record a live DVD. Mm. I don't know if I understand. No, I hear you. <laughs> so, um, should musicians get to a point where they build with pastors? Now you know what uh, what the the, the, the pastors' downfalls. You you should know now that you yeah. know what. Uh, some of them they use faith. Or I don't know what else mm. to call it. But you know, man, we want to have this money. Do you, do you think it's faith? Uh, that's what I say. I used for a lack of a better word. I uh. used faith. <laughs> I really don't think it's faith. Um, <laughs> because that's why we've done shows. Mm. I, I've seen you doing shows. Mm. You can't prepare a show in your faith. Yeah. No. Because in the process of preparing your show, there's things that need to, to be taken care of now. Yeah. When you call a razor today, you can't say, as I believe that by next week I'll have something in my, in my mm. account. You can't do Just that. Just plan for it. You plan. Mm. So our pastors, most of them, they don't plan. Mm. They don't plan. And they want good things. Mm. But they, de they, never, they don't want to invest. I'm not talking about other things. Sound only. I don't want to talk about church buildings and all these things. Sound only. Mm. You know, that is why most of them, the only thing, you find, <laughs> which it's, to me, it, it sounds like a joke. A pastor can go and buy a SM58 microphone just for him to preach mm. and buy this musician's Joseph microphones. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is, why? Why are they even doing that? I so it means really they want to go all out. They can the, go all out for the church. Do you know, do you know what my biggest issue is? Then? Yeah. I get the small churches, this and that. My biggest issue is uh, I've seen a lot of churches they've got building fans. This yeah, <laughs> I've never seen a church reaching funds for musicians. Never investing in the people. I've that's the, and I'm, I'm battling with it, but yeah. the, the Lord will help me. As a ruler, but I like what you guys are doing in your church. The music is very nice. Thank you so man. much. The Thank music you. is Thank nice. You. Are you in charge of the music there? Um, I'm one of the directors. We are two, myself and Stanley Matani. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we guys were supposed to record. What happened? We did our recording. Did you? So everything went very well. Yeah. Um, we are working on the mixing and mastering of the project now. Ah, I see. Yeah. So now I want to go to your music yeah. without any further ado. Yeah. So uh, let's start with Tracks the Journey. Yeah. Um, also, for, for people who don't know, Tracks yeah. is short for Ntatlan. 
Which is yes. your surname, right? Yes, yes. So it's in Trax, which is your stage name. Which is the stage name and my company name. And your company name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to have a vet number. <laughs> <laughs> and then the journey. Yes. I'm struggling with that journey part. So meaning, um, if, for instance, we ask with my school, as long as you always say, in future I want to. Oh. In future I want this. But you can't get to the future. Yes. So, and each MEM is not a journey with a full stop. Mm -hmm. It's a journey with a comma. Mm -hmm. So that it encourages me every day to trust the process. Ah. If I fail myself today, I know that tomorrow I'm willing to do it better. Ah. And tomorrow, just like that. So that's the journey. Oh. It's like... I'm, are, you, are you documenting your journey? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. I do. Because... I, I see a book, eh? Documentary. <laughs> when you're on the other side of the journey. And um, documenting the journey is very important. And, sure. and a, a lot of people miss it because it's not about the destination. I think if we all oh. got to go to our destination, it would yeah. be boring. Yeah, true. The journey is... So when, you, when I read that journey, I was like, journey, because I, I'm, I'm for the journey. I hear you. Trusting the process. Yeah. Going through the ups and downs, yes, yes, sir. So that you can tell a story at the end, yes, yes. of your journey. Yeah, true. So I like that name. So I wanted to make sure that you're on the same page. Samba song, <laughs> yeah, So uh, I first, I first, okay, I met you long ago, but um, when I really got to take note of you, yeah, when Anulali, not given, not given, the drama. What's his name? Um, then he used to be Sbu. Then we, we played with Spusiso Villaga, Spusiso Nene, Spusiso Villaga, yes. uh, then Peter Jamba, Skumbuzo Mbeza. Skumbuzo. Yes. Very good drama, that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys were playing at Europa. Europa, every it, Sunday. It, every Sunday. <laughs> at, uh, Sunny in Pretoria. Yeah. Sunny Side. It's SLN, eh? SLN Street. SLN yes. Street. And you guys would kill those covers, man. <laughs> eh? We used to call Europa University of Music. I'm telling you. <laughs> And then uh, I used to come and listen to you guys. Yeah. Till today, I've never had anyone play weekend special like you guys do. Oh man! Like the way you guys play uh, any song, Kais of Kaifas, uh, in, uh, in how you, you guys would interpret uh, uh, my secular songs, Kaifas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey man, so I used to watch you guys. It. <laughs> One day, never was good to be in Europe, but. I came to listen to music. <laughs> just, yeah, just leave it like that. So that's when I first yeah. met you guys, ne? Sure. Um, I don't want to assume, but alcohol and drugs mm. and smoking, they live in those kind of environments. Yeah, sure. I know you guys were, at a point, you guys were playing in the same, same band. Yes, yes, ne? yes. So on Sunday, you guys would play in Europe after church. Yes, just after church. So the buses are about to lay. Yeah. Then, but when you get to Europe, you switch it up. Yeah. Do um, you think it's acceptable or it's right or that's how we should do it? I think that's how we should do it. Mm. Because I was October and I went last segment in transit call. Remember, our part is to make sure that people who don't know Christ, yeah. to Christ, we make sure, find ways to come as a Christ. Yes. And the people who don't know Christ, they normally don't, they don't go to church. Yeah. So you can't go to church to introduce people to Christ. Mm. You go out. Go out. So a ministry, Lebanese. It was ministry. I can say that one. Mm. I can say it in the case of... Because you used to do gospel. Yes. Before I gospel. Look, look one conversation, if mm. you became more than 10 times there, mm. there is no way that we can close the session without a gospel. The mm. last part of the session it should be gospel. Mm. And even when we used to attend church and mm. remnant, most of the guys used to go there. Mm. So totally Europe, mm. you know. So I think somehow, in ministry, he saved you know, the peoples of Europe. You know now when I go to Limpopo, when I go to Nasper, people don't tell me they job. You know when you changed mm. in Pilozet, a lot of boys are Europe. In Europe. You know when I go to Limpopo now, I don't go with the band. Mm. I find a band. The people find the guys. Who always who used to come to Europe every I'll every check. Sunday, every Tuesday they come to Blue Room. Yeah. Blue Europe. Room as well. Yes. Yes. So so really, I don't regret those days. So what we were doing there, yeah. I'm sure the nurses would invite to us there. Yeah. No, I think what you guys did there was amazing. But must I tell up? Europe. Uh, in the beginning, it was not paying. 
Yeah. But we've got this six pale. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I don't want to go, is alcohol wrong or right? Yeah. But we all know that the abuse of alcohol yeah. has, has distracted a lot of yeah, things. Sure. Sure. And then how did you stay clear of it? Um, it's unfortunate that some of the things you can't decide, decide on them as a group or collectively so. Mm. You, some choices you just need to make them on your own. Mm. You know, um, choosing to drink or not, or choosing to get drunk or not, I think it's a personal choice. Mm. Um, you, mu you must have a reason why you're doing that. Yeah. You know, um, so I wouldn't say they are wrong by drinking because I don't know what they're doing or how does alcohol help them. No, I see, I see again, but yeah. I'm saying you guys. Yeah. Uh, as far as I understand, Pretoria musicians. Yeah. You're pros of Pretoria musicians. Blues room, a blue room, and Europa. Yes. I used to like. I know. I know. I know that place. Yeah. Yeah. You're pros, and then it seemed like alcohol is your is musicians' distress, especially Pretoria musicians. Yeah. So I want to find out from you, how did you navigate past or around that? Choice again. Was a choice. It's still going to be a, a situation of choice because anyone can influence you to do something that you are not even interested to do. Yeah. You know. So um, you make a choice. If mm. you want to drink, I repeat what I said. Mm. If you want to drink, you will drink. Mm. If you don't want to drink, you won't drink. As fun as matongi, matongi na mga tatu ni semfule, uchu funal puza mans. If you have fun, na yal puza mans. So if you are easily influenced, you will definitely drink. You will drink there? Eh? Without a reason. Okay. No, I hear you. I hear you. It's just that... Hopefully clear it up. Hopefully clear it up. And then, uh, do you find anything wrong with alcohol? According to your observation. If I visit you tomorrow, I will find out that my AA must figure out that I will find something, something. Yeah. And I... I don't think there's anything wrong. Unless I'm actually so I couldn't do that wrong again, sir. Ne? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. That's that's me. Um, I, I I don't think, and I don't want us to even go to the issue of pipe and the wine. Mm. I think if if I get this, it does wrong. Yeah. So do you prefer the green or the brown bottle? None. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sure. So, my brother, you yeah. do you do jazz? Yeah. You do gospel. Sure. Coral corner, na you because coral corner, eh, Afro, Afro, Afro pop, yeah. Afro pop, you yeah. do. What? Which is your genre? Don't say gospel, gospel houses all of them. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. We are pulling up as straight. I've yeah. heard you. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Fortunately for me, I've heard you in diff different platforms. Yeah. Sure. Know? So, so. Where do you cut, where do we categorize this man? Unplugs, we happy. What is Unplugs' music? I believe it. I don't think God gave me a gift of singing mm. to sing one genre. Mm. This is me, and um, lucky enough, I don't. I, I, th I think even my my mother can can attest to that. Apparently, but I used to sing when I was still very, very young. Mm. You know, so as a talent developer, the love for music, I always got inspired by Bohu Masike, Lavio Mokwe, Namashatin, and Mountela Queens. You can name them. All these guys with my voice, Lava Krishna Beso. There was a time you were the Vio Mokwe enough, Mamilut. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I did teach him how to Too much. <laughs> so, so I couldn't go to one day. Okay, my first wish was not to sound like them, mm -hmm. but was to share the stage with them. Mm -hmm. You know, and I started to check their music, check their music, and growing up in the industry, I to I one of my duties that I want to do is to make sure that I revive the music of all the South African legends. Mm. And I need to sit down with Ubabu Huma Sikera, Bab Jonas Kwangwa, to say, hey, daddy, please give me an opportunity to just do your music. Mm. And lucky enough, all the, the ones that I approached to talk to, hand in hand, you know? Mm. So they said, we're just giving the blessings. Really? So this. did they give you rights to perform their, their, yeah. their music? 100%. On and off camera? 100%. 
Wow. I thought it was only that the Tepo Tulo gave you that. No, 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 no. All of them. So all of them, when I do their music, I make sure that I consult. consult. I don't just uh, uh, do a show and rock their music. and. So you consult? I consult. That's good. That's yeah. good. It means your business acumen is, is, is right. So, so, so we know that you do, but there's this thing here, Gospel, that yeah. always says, Baba, come here. Because you turned professional in 91. You've been a professional for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, I know you've got albums, but oh, Zakele did your albums. Yes, true. Our program, I State Theater. True, yes. So, yes. and... By the looks of things, because they're not popular out there, mm. you, it's like you didn't take them serious. That's why people will say, Mandan Tracks doesn't have an album. Yeah. But yeah. I know you've got two. Yes, yes. You know? Actually, four. Is it four? Yeah. You recorded two with. Uh, um, uh, um, my, I remember when I used to be with Smoo, Smoo and Mandla. Oh, yes. That's actually five with that one. Smoo and Mandla. Then I uh, two albums from Zakes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have. I have just one, The Jane of My African Sound, mm. and the live DVD. 2013, I did a live DVD. You did a DVD recording? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you good. I, no, no, it's supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. I owe you. I'm, I'm so, 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 so what happened? Why, why are they not out there? Uh, not, you're not, when, I, when we came back from your show, mm. my wife looked for your music on iTunes. Uh, it's only clips on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Surely yeah. you can't survive like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I won't mention, I won't mention, when Gusambro because remember, most of the music that I, I compose, especially, Montuani mm. Sema Theat. That is why I spend most of my time mm. in the theat. So, so, and what I like about theater, most of the time, they follow the right procedure mm. to use your stuff. No, oh, okay. that for me uh, really works. You oh, you know, compose? I a lot. That one, actually, uh, I was talking about it, about it last week. There's a lot of guys who are saying that. Yeah. And I chose not to entertain that. Yeah. Um, if, if, if I didn't know how to write, then I wouldn't host shows like the um, Night of Compositions. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't host such, such shows. Mm -hmm. And most of the people who say that, specifically musicians who say that, they never come to my shows where they're supposed to be. You are right when you say musicians. Yeah. yeah. Where they were, where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. They never come to those shows. They want those shows free. Yeah. Then so that they can be able to criticize everything that is taking place. You know. And funny enough is that after the criticism that they are doing, they go and in, in, uh, imitate in tax mm. on their other shows. <laughs> so they <laughs> discourage this. Yeah. What inspires them? So you are aware of this? I'm aware hundred percent. Mm. And I, some of the people I even mm. call them, I give them my gigs mm. to come and work with me. Really? Yeah. Because there is something very peculiar with this uh, music industry. Yeah. And Kulman Yeah. Why yeah. is that? You can say that again. Um I think we've got the seed in Jay Omon. Mm. The seed your mon. Satan. Yeah, because you know there's people who can who can be part of each topic but not knowing you. But they find people having a topic about you. And they, they join in and they oh, add yeah, things yeah. that they don't know about you. They've never experienced about you. I'll make an example. If they're saying, in tax is not paying, mm. the question is going to be, in tax are a mm. Because I don't book people without an agreement. Mm. You know, if, you, if I tell you this is what I have, uh, come work with me. And you say, yes, that is an agreement. Yeah. You sign that, and that's it. But if one will go around and say, hey, I don't want to do a monkey gun tax because of it's not paying, because of as the Abba and is not paying. Mm. So they never expressed them yourself, ne? From me, never. You can, <laughs> can check with everybody that with me. If if it was a free show, it's yeah. a free show. Ne? If it's a paying gig, it's a paying gig. I hear you. Yeah. And then the Vosima Shasela School of Music, yes. Estate Theatre. Yeah. You, you, you studied there, right? No, MC Art. MC Art? MC Art. Oh, you didn't do Vosima Shasela? No, no, no. no. Vosima Shasela used to do only AMA workshops. So only oh, you were doing workshops? Yeah, involved in workshops. So there were two schools, Estate Theatre? There were two music schools, yes. MC Art Academy yeah. and Vosima Shasela. I thought it was one thing. No, it was two different things. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh no, I thought it was one because there was Okrim and there was the yes. Kate. Yes. So yes. we never differentiated yes. the duty. So no, there were two up men and Abula and you've all from the MC Academy. Really? Yeah. Did it did it give you what you wanted that time? Hundred percent. Um May his soul rest in peace. Prasemi Pore, he yeah. really gave us a right direction. Mm -hmm. He really gave us a right direction. He was so harsh. Mm -hmm. We didn't understand why. Yeah. But now we can see the results. Ne? Yeah. And um, um, what you, who's that lady? Zotwa. Zotwa Mabena. Zotwa Mabena. Yeah. How influential was she in your, in your, in your journey? Actually, uh, she was my first jazz vocal. Uh, my vocal jazz. Um, a teacher mm. so lecture. my my first year lecture mm. my first standard suggest mm. it is the game and the only that's why i will never you know okay when i tell them all right when i talk to stay theater with choir i tell them that i'm not feeling this thing yeah just give me give me and then i will always salute him and appreciate him. I appreciate her and she she took you around to an extent i would get up and give a baking vocalist yeah mm. You know, for for a longer period of time, up until I decided to do my own things. To do your own things. And we still share things together even today. Um, I've heard utterances from you and other musicians saying, yeah. "Hey, the government is not doing its part. It's letting musicians down." Mm. But when I look at your journey, <laughs> actually, it's about the journey. Yeah. So yeah. on your journey there, the yeah. state theatre, which is government. Oh, yes. And I'm sure when you we go do your shows there. You don't get charged like everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you are charged preferential pre preferential rates. Yeah, sure. So then, surely the government is doing something, right? It is doing something. Yeah. The the question is, am artists or are they doing something? How's their paperwork? Yeah. Because when you turn around, you're still recorded. Yeah. You know, am artists? One thing that I can tell you. I'm at least the only thing they want. That is why they get uh, managers who don't know anything about the industry, yeah. and they work. They do their paperwork. Yeah. Then let them focus on stage, and la ba ba telling people they're making a lot of money yeah. more than them who are doing their the main job, yeah. which is the performance of whatever booking. So, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cheater. Even the ladies in the industry, most of them, they are lazy when coming to paperwork. Yeah. They don't want to understand the paperwork. They just want to sign and and get that's paid. and that's the most important one. Yeah. Eh? They want to sign, get paid, and go drink. Yeah. So you did a um, Tony Gospel Choir. Now. Yeah. Went to Tony Gospel Choir. You did a a beautiful rendition of tribute to uh, 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 Lady Smith Black Mamba. Lady Smith Black Mamba. Yeah. <laughs> I even today, ne, when I watch it. I see the choreography there. Uh, I see. The, uh, the, who, did you arrange that? Everything from the from the uh, music to the choreography as well. Everything. Everything. Like, <laughs> Ponte, have you seen it? Make your time, and it was never popular. It was not even on the CD. It was just on the yeah, DVD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who recruited you to do the gospel choir? I just saw a poster um, about auditions, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I saw the post on the same day at the audition. Mm. And Gary, guys, can I please uh, reserve the space? Mm. And I said, oh, just come. Mm. And I went there unprepared. I just trusted the Lord that I'll be part of this. Mm. It, you know, every time when you get a new thing, there's that mentality or it's a big thing for me. Yeah. yeah. So I went there with a positive mind and I auditioned my Bo, Yana Kulen, and Osmong, uh, Yenbo, Matumba. I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah. So, and they just said yes. They said yes. You are part of us. Yeah. How was the experience with the choir then? <laughs> Again, the journey. <laughs> Again, it's like any relationship. <laughs> the journey, any relationship, when you start, mm. everything is just cool, you know? Mm. You buy each other chocolates and all those things. But as the journey goes, you, you stop doing those things, you know? So I wouldn't say it was a happy place from the onset up to the end how we started it was nice but um i had to leave uh, tgc because but you left and you came back no i no you came back after the recording you left when bobo and Gian colin left there was a time we came back no when i came back it was specifically when they called the 
alumni of the choir oh. to come and render those items, oh. but not coming back as a full-time member of TGC. All right. You know, but I don't want to lie. Above all, TGC, I've learned a lot from TGC. Besides, Tosa Tosa are like anything in the industry, but really, I've, I've, I've they, they added value yeah. for the brand in drugs. Is it, is, was it, is Tony Gospel, was it Bongi and Colin who added value, or was it the... I would say, I would say it's for Tony Gospel choir as a whole. Ne? Yeah, yeah. Really? Did yeah. you get paid what you were supposed to or Uh Fortunately enough, is that at that time, I think my main focus was not more into getting... So you didn't get paid? So I was getting that money, which it was called payment at that time. <laughs> it was called... So I accepted that. Yeah. Up until I realized, that, okay, this is not how the industry works. supposed to be, yeah. you know. Then, um, because I, an example to her, uh, attention. Yeah. Just ask uh, the leader to say, "No, um, can you please release me from the choir? Mm. I want to start my new thing." Mm. You know, and yeah, I think that is why we're still communicating to date mm. because I don't think we fought for me to leave Tony Gospel Choir. Oh, you didn't fight? No, it was not a fight. So, when are you uh, the special child? Not, not really. Um, um, maybe God gave me the wisdom. On how to deal with things better. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> but but Tuana Gospel Choir uh, came to Pretoria. Hey, it caused the stare. Yeah, you guys. A serious one. Who? Especially that that the first Tuana Gospel Choir. That first Tuana Gospel know. Choir. That one it was something else. Hey man, <laughs> this this DVD here. Yes. Oh man. Yes. This this the, let me tell you, Tuana Yo. Gospel Choir came with a clean sound, a new sound. Different sound, yeah. Different sound. The band. <laughs> the band is, in my opinion, remember, I don't know much, but my, for me, the band uh, played a pivotal part, yeah. you know. It I was think the cream of it. 100%. Yeah. As soon as the band left, I, in my mind, I knew that Tuana will never be the same again. Yeah. Do you share the same sentiments? Actually, all of us we were worried. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we had nothing to do or change. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the guys had their reasons why they had to leave. Mm -hmm. As a group, because they didn't live individual. Yeah, they left. they left all of them at the same time. Yeah. So it was so painful to us because we knew as well that even if they can get another band, Tony Gospel will never be the same again. Amen. What you are saying now it's true. In all these DVDs we put here, yeah. especially the ones that have choir sound, yeah. there is no band that sounded like that one. Uh, that band that time? No, oh, no, no. None. You guys are a, a proper so, band, eh? So I, I I wish I wish they can change and bring back those guys into the brand. Hey, when I speak to some of them, they they hey they don't agree. Really, hey, they don't agree. Really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it. I mean, I have a family. They can hold on. The Hudi San is a family. Lily happy every day. Some of them are fans of nobody. Do you think they were not justified to leave? I don't want to go into it. One of them is coming. They'll talk about it. Do you think they were justified to leave? Can you not talk about it? <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Julie, For safety reasons. What's a cat cat in Mzule? So, uh, but the most beautiful thing I, I have experienced in your journey, ne? Yeah. Is uh, the kids that you ensembled. Yeah. Uh, you recorded it, ne? Did you record it? That yeah. last show at the State Theatre when you put... We recorded that show, yes. The yes. The Journal of, of My African Song. Yes. Yeah. So, and... Vocal arrangement, was it you? Yes. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> so, I, I saw you doing that, and when you... Because I came the first day. Yes. And, the, and you announced on the first day that the second day, yes. you guys are recording. Yes, 7 and 8 October, I remember. Yes. Yeah. How, is the, how is that coming along? Um... I think we are winning, though um, things are a bit slow, you know, mm. because the songs that we actually recorded, and I feel I, I felt like I want to redo the songs. How yeah, can so, you overdubs, Mrs. Yeah. So, so yeah, actually that's what I have to do now. Yeah, you know. So you know, is and I'm planning good at least end of uh, July. I need to release the music. Then I'm doing a launch, same month. Um, the difference is just going to be the 8th and the 9th of October. Oh, okay. So, but now I'm launching 
that that uh, that music. Back at the state theater. Yes, back at the state theater. Hey man, that was proper, man. Thank that was proper. That was really. that was proper, man. Thank Especially you. when you came back and then you start doing your 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 your. your Jazz stuff. Yeah, in the end. yeah, yeah, like, wow, yeah. this is different, you know. Thanks, man. Thank you. So much. No, man, this that's different because uh, I must tell people I actually buy music. Did I call you for the ticket? Ah, no, 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 no. We buy, no, we buy, no, we buy. Yeah. No, begging cash, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, and actually, we need to encourage people to do that. Yes, our people they need to do yeah. that. Yeah. No, that thing was a was a, was a great. Um, a great concept. Thank you so much. Which you. I feel like Fanlo Pumo music, man. Yeah. Did you get sponsors for that? No, everything I did it from my own pocket. Really? Yeah. I planned uh, for some time then. <laughs> <laughs> but I did apply for a few sponsors. Yeah. Some no response. Yeah. Um, even those I expected, they can really assist. You know, mm. there's, there's, there's those guys in our section who, you know that this guy is, is loaded. Mm. He can actually assist you mm. if he really wants to. Mm. But And he promised that. Yeah. To say, guy, when do something, I'll make sure that I give you yeah. uh, the, the um, 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 assistance. Then now when the time comes, you approach those guys, yeah. now it's a different story. Mm. It's a different story. So that's why I don't I don't believe when a person book me and says, uh, and I don't have much for now, but mm. come, mm. come. There's giants who are coming there. Mm. I don't believe in that. Don't tell me about the giants. Mm. Let's focus on this gig. Oh, yeah. Then if they see me there, they will book me. Ne. Yeah. So uh, the problem is, you, pro you, you, you perform and you're good at what you do. Okay. One thing I must tell you. And then people get drunk, and when they get drunk, they get excited. Ah, I'm sad. Don't worry. Don't worry. Pay for everything. And when they're sober, yes. <laughs> it's a problem. It's a one. So yeah. never take uh, somebody's word when they are drunk. Yeah, 100%. You know? yeah. Which ask cool makes us. Give me your number. Yeah. Because, uh, hey, man, that thing can really break you. Eh? Yeah, true. It can true. really break you true. because true. the hours you put in, because people don't understand that when you take those kids, Yeah. You really work at harness yeah. that, man. For what we see there, you guys have worked. So it's a it's a it's a bit of a problem. Yeah. So I wanna go go to you now. Uh, you are the most booked artist in an album on iTunes or Spotify. Yeah. So you know that you need to rectify that, right? I will rectify that, but I, I really need somebody who can come and convince me. Uh, really convinced me because I think with the reliables mm. I've experienced bad I've got something that I, will, I don't want to share mm. but there's a bad experience that I had with reliable mm. um, so somebody must just convince me yeah I would like to you deserve to be on iTunes here's, here's my biggest issue yeah Ntlax now has gone through his journey yeah What do we remember Ntlax as? We can't remember Ntlax for Tepotola, for, mm. for, for, for. Mm. <laughs> why, why, why are you saying you can't? We can't because we need to remember Tepotola uh, for Tepotola's music. Yeah. Right now, yeah. we know that, ah, oh, Ntlax is here. Yeah. Uh, he, nails, he nails those repertoires. Yeah. He, 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 he nails um, those uh, babies and lunch. It's called the uh, impersonation. Yeah. I can put it sure. like that. Sure, sure. He nails that. Proper, proper. If if I if I close my ears, I think, ah, hey, man, this man, we are la paya. Mm. So, but we can't remember you for doing tanai. We can't remember yeah. you for doing a a mum that day kefa simbi. Whoever, yeah. now or never. Mm. What are we gonna remember you? Okay, that's a good that's a good topic actually. <laughs> um, I want, I want to rectify this one. Mm. You will surely remember Ntlax with the inspiration of Tepo no. and them. 100%, right? yes. Um, I always encourage people that there's some artists that are famous today, not because of they wrote good songs, mm. but because of their producers and their marketing team. Mm. They have nothing to do with them being famous. Mm. I, 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 just, I just don't want to mention names. There's guys that you know this one is not a good singer. Mm. But he's lucky that he got this producer. Correct. That's one of the things that you need to know. But, just Then, to catch you there, yeah. but there's a song that's the identified to them. 
There's a lot of them, but they're identified yeah. with their song. Whether yes. they wrote it is another story. Yes. But they they're identified with their rendition or their remember your 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 your, your album, it's your yeah. rendition. It's yeah. my gift to to you. When but, I'm not here. But why be that so? Um you know that it's not everybody who's got your celebration C D or knows your celebration music. Mm, yeah, well. So, mm. um, like now, you know my music. Mm. But you'll find that the people who are watching us now, they don't know my music. Mm. Right? That is something that needs to be fixed in 100%. terms of the, uh, adding value more into the brand. Name, 100%. Right? Yes. So, my focus is different. Mm. It's different. I still repeat that. If you can come to theater, watch theater productions. Mm. And we, we capture all those moments. You'll realize that a lot of my songs that are being used into such platforms. Mm. And uh, I'm not competing with all these guys who, that's why you, you have ne probably have never seen in Clarks alone on one of mm. Not to say I don't have an access to go there. Mm. I will go there one day. Mm. Um, I just need more inspiration, man. Oh, okay. So, in other words, you say you don't want to do things the way other people did it. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, maybe most of these gospel musicians, they are, they, are, they are my friends, most of them. Yes, we know. And some of the things that they are saying they are going through mm. doesn't sit with, with me. No, other Because it's not something that they want to do, it's something that one tells them to do. Mm. This is how I want us to do things. And, and it brings tears to them, it brings pain, pain to them. Mm. They can't rectify it unless that person rectifies that. 100%. You know? Um, hence my one of my wishes to own my own music school. Mm. That's one of my dreams. Mm. And once I can do that, then it's fine. My kids, they will record and do all these things. Because in this thing of recording, hey, so this thing of recording, mm. you spend a lot of money pre-production. Then now, post-production must come out. It's a problem. Most, most musicians, they don't plan for post-productions. Mm. You know? And it's one thing that I'm learning. Mm -hmm. In this journey, which I believe the day and the sisters are not the same, and so um, I know you might want to see me now doing all these things, you know. But I believe that this journey will really, will really, will really give the right direction as I'm trusting the process. You know, I've seen you. You did a is it a duet with Siam 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 Moba Siam Moba yeah, and I and. Clearly, Chengoba is a top producer. Yeah. Clearly, these guys see you and they recognize you. Yeah. There was a baseline who I can't remember who passed away. Uh, Double HP. Double HP. Yeah. But you know when you're singing there, I was jealous. Good to know. <laughs> yes, shy Lizzie, but two nyana of your own. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm a capitalist, but no, no, no. You, I, I, you are I, correct, but I will still say trust the journey. Ne? You, I will, I will still do CDs and mm. albums mm. to accommodate certain part of my people. Mm. But like I said, um, what what about solar planted in us? It will never die. No, it, no, it always, shouldn't. It will always be there. Mm. Even if I write a song, I wish you can hear my latest compositions that I did. Mm. You will hear that we can bring back Sangomota. Mm. In this generation, yeah. and that I think, um, 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 so while we're still in this topic, why I'm I'm taking my time in some of the things that I, I do. I don't want to compose or release bubblegum music. Hmm. With Kafunya now, then I feel this will get I can't fall. Hmm. Otherwise, I'll record every year hmm. for myself and my surrounding year, hmm. and no change. Am I gaining something out of, out of that? No. But the question that we need to ask ourselves now, why is Intrax working every weekend without an album? But people who've got albums, they work once in a while. And that's, that's, that's what pains me as well, because I know you gig. Yeah. I've attended some of your gigs. Um, but I... If you, yeah, I'll come and you know what I do that, I think? Yeah. Um, because people know. You've got away with the crowd. Yeah. We can't dispute that. <laughs> but, eh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Every time I put in a Michelin Petama CD, Me? so wherever I go and perform, yeah. I sell those CDs. Me? You know, um, back to the reliable story again. So, 
part of what happened, the drama that uh, took place, I choose I choose to sell from my boots. From your boots, yeah. yeah. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Andy Lee, Bula said, the streets have got money. Is, is that true? A lot. A mm. lot. Um, the issue one about the complex, do mm. those things. Um, but it needs Mona or Mosello or Bokovic to be there because, for instance, I'll make an example the, the CD and the sleeve and everything. We are let's say we are to internet, mm. then you sell your CD 150 there on the street, mm. they buy it like. The bite, eh? Make sold out. How much profit is yours? Mm. You know. So there's much as you are doing that on the street, but there's a lot of business mind okay mm. into your company. I see. Yeah. Wow. All right. Uh, now what is Shapila? But I wanna go to this. Yeah. You guys did a beautiful concept called uh, a message from a broken jar. Message from a broken jar. Yes. So you guys did a beautiful concept. I, when I heard it, I was like, wow, this is something new. This is something. What was it? I'm waiting for the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, whose idea was that? Uh, Mr. Mafan and Tap. Ne? Yeah. That's the, that's the guy, actually, who... No, I didn't know Mafan. Yeah. And uh, I got a call from... Okay, let me just be honest. So... <laughs> I think my father spoke to you, spoke to Begim Kach. Begim Kach, yes. And Begim Kach was given a mandate to say, uh, get Amachita, who are specializing in this kind of sound. Mm. You know? And I don't, I think it's got too much time mentioned by name. Mm. And I don't think, I don't think Begim Kach was going to tell me, Hore, mm. Pella, you, your name is mentioned mm. on the other side, you know and then I went, when, 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 uh, Twana Gospel I was doing some live streaming in Victoria East. Mm. Godfrey said, hey, no, I want to talk to you. Mm. I said, my name is Colby. Mm. There's a group that we are starting and you need to be part of this mm. uh, organization. Then he stayed, uh, over some reasons work. And when I called Big, he said, no, I forgot, man, to tell you. But I just felt like he didn't want me to be part of that. Ah, that's an assumption. And the Big is my friend. But that's an assumption. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, that's how I felt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but he apologized about it, mm. and um, that's how we started to be part of Broken Giant. Bafana came in our first meeting, he explained his heart. Mm. Um, we bought into the idea, and uh, we <laughs> heard our recording. Okay. That, that recording was beautiful, yeah. and I think at the moment, uh, my song is the leading one yeah. in terms of the viewership. Yeah. So, which would give me more, more recognition to even add up. Like last, last thing I was performing go the, 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 the like wedding of uh, the um, deputy president of uh, the Republic of South Africa. Really? I don't know how they got me, you know, mm. those guys. You know? Right. So, I think even Broken Jai as well, added value mm. for me to be recognized out there. Did you guys come with your own songs, <laughs> Broken Jai? <laughs> Why are people laughing when you sing them? <laughs> because clear, <laughs> man. You sure? <laughs> So, uh, who came with the songs? Kuli, Kuli, uh, the late Kuli Mdawe. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Bafan, I think they used to meet, having their meetings uh, on the site before they meet with us. Mm -hmm. So, right now we didn't have any, any uh, sailor to put in ideas in terms mm -hmm. of songs. So, we just followed whatever they gave to us. And who took things to Samro? I don't know. So you're not part of that process? I don't, I don't even know anything about it. Really? That you didn't sign contracts? Um, my agreement was different. In what sense? Yeah, I wanted to get the ones of payment because there's something that I was avoiding, yeah. which I won't mention now. <laughs> so with what I got, I'm yeah. okay with that. All right. Yeah. So happy. And like enough, I was not doing a composition. It was a domain. Yeah. And um, you later came when you were launching it, then you, you brought the females. The only. Females, yes. That was a great concept. Yeah. It was yeah. his. Yeah, it was his uh, idea as well. All right. So, is the group now gone? It's there. <laughs> I'm still part of no, the group. I'm still part of the group. Okay. Honestly, I'm still part of the group. 
next year, the, the next week, mm. the broken jar, um, the gents, we are going to Swaziland. Mm. So we're still there, though, um, I would say the spark, it will be mm. Not because there's nothing happening behind the scene, mm. but there's a planning, um, we're planning to launch the Masquerade album that we did recently. Mm. Um, if all goes well, it's going to happen here this mm -hmm. year in 2023. If all goes well, all goes well, eh? yeah. But me, me and Broken Jar, um, it's yeah. I don't think I will, unless I don't at the moment, I don't have any reason to leave Broken Jar. I let's leave Bro Broken Jar because mm -hmm. uh, I know you said you can't answer, yeah. but there is a guy there, hey man, that guy is proper. He sang a song that I thought you'd do. What's the song? Uh, I should, it should be Tato Makomoshka. Yes. Can I watch that song you did? Papa, Tepoto. Yeah, Tepoto. Yeah. I thought you'd do that song. You're not the only one. Yeah, I thought, ah, but, hey, but he nailed it, eh? He's a good friend of mine, actually. Um, when we did Isambulo with uh, Isambulo the musical, Kozix, yeah. both of us were doing Tepoto. Like yeah. And Liana is one of the guys who are inspired by Tepoto. Hey, man, that guy nailed so it. He nailed the song. Uh. Um, and we always, uh, always com congratulate each other. Because uh, when, he, when, he, when he did that song, when he started, I was like, oh, man, oh, in talks. But when he, when he did it, I was like, in talks must wait. I'm hearing something. <laughs> but that guy is good, yeah, no, man. He's, he's, and I don't, he's, I, don't, I don't know. It was the first time I, I see him. Oh, yeah. he's, been, he's been there, man. He's been part of his, his Telos Gamoya. Yeah. yeah, he's been in the space. I'm sure if you can see him again, you'll realize that I'm sure there's shows that you did where he was part of. No, that was the first time I met him. Yes. Yeah, because uh, on Begim Kashas, because you performed on Begim Kashas. Yes, yes. And he performed at your thing. Yes, yes. But imagine for Nela and Mara, you guys, you must fix your things, man. This is, this is oh, too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to call you out. I'm waiting for you to call you out. So now, uh, I want to go back to somewhere before we close now. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say people, so um, I'm going to take responsibility for this one. Okay. When my wife says, oh, this guy has got a rich voice, the first thing I said to her, yeah, it's good, hey, but it was bad. Yeah. Do you think your, your, your voice is deteriorating? In what way? Like, from, because when my, like I'm telling you, when yeah. she said, her voice, I was like, hey man, this guy, yes, it's beautiful, but... This guy's voice mm. used to be, hey man. Yeah. And what do you mean? Maybe the problem is I know you from, from, back, then, from yeah. back then, you know. Yeah. Do you think, like, like, are you taking care of your voice? I think it's deteriorating, mm. or do you think that's a maturity that's supposed to take? That's how it's supposed to be. Actually, actually, it's a choice. It's a choice? I always wanted to sound like this. Really? Even my mother can tell you. I always, as I said to you, when I was still young, yeah. Um, I was always inspired by Bumatatin. You can imagine yeah. Bumatatin's voice. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I wanted that voice. So did you mold your voice to sound like this? To sound like this. That's that's how I wanted to sound. So like now, I'm the most happiest vocalist ever. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, I thought it was like, I'm going to stop performing. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, nah. So, and people, they honestly feel like, man, that's normal. Your voice... Being in India like then, okay, it was there. So, but you, I was working towards this tone. So this tone is what you. Is what. I, now I cannot go beyond this. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Happy. All right. Cool. Now before we close, I need to ask you two questions. Yeah. Um, and the the the, 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 uh, the one question I want to ask is, especially with gospel. Yeah. What do you want to see change in the gospel music industry? What's the one thing you want to see change? I think uh, it's for this music promoters and music um, top dogs in the industry to really treat gospel music industry as a gospel music industry, not as a business. Because much as they are putting God as a shade in a way, yeah. they are hitting most of their souls in the spaces mm. of gospel because of what is happening behind the scene. Uh, that, that's the first change I would really want to 
because of Baropa, Lebana Baba to come and Baba Ropa. Much as Lebana Baba Baba to Basa, it's a research, a full shop for, for themselves. Um, they will accept those 3.5 and Barak is at fee. Mm. They don't even want to bother themselves to ask themselves why is 3.5 standard mm. fee, where else we are putting a lot of work into this production and all that. Mm. So that's the first one. And the second one is that somehow they need to find a way to give this upcoming artist a chance. Because mm. you know what they're doing now? Bites and Garba have a chance, but they're not giving them a chance. But they introduce them then, Baba Baba Batagali Khaik. Or no, let's not tell too much, Lina. Mm. We are still the ones. Mm. I was telling somebody last time, Gary. The other thing I realized that South Africa is that you'll, you'll only get a platform. Mm. All these big stages after such a talk of its own, and such a very Mavadia day, Nikiata day. So waiting for a funeral and somebody, then that's when they, they will give him tax a chance. Like, and I continue now to. Not to round up, but to, there's a lot of people who, who find who, who try to get away. Or in tax, can we get in tax to do Bula and go to a celebration? Mm. Mm. Um, there's a lot that I can do, it. but they said no, no, no. Mm. So gatekeepers are on your case yeah. as well. And I'm so happy, or they were there because mm. if they give me those opportunities, I wouldn't know how to hustle like you hustle like I'm doing now. So mm. I'm happy. The fact that they tried to close doors for me. So these gatekeepers is a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. It is a real thing. Mm. That's what I can tell. It's actually one of the reasons why I even chose to do jazz. Hmm. Because gospel, it's not gospel that we think Kion. But mm. they know behind the scenery, it was Satan. Hmm. So this thing is true. I'm telling you. That, that if, if it was not true, uh, 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 that's all. Why can't they stick with the same people forever and ever? Why these people, they, they are in this production, uh, the next production is somebody else, mm. the other production is somebody else. Why? What's the reason? Because it can't be only money. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't uh, <laughs> reply to that one because I'm also learning good there's, yeah. there's gatekeepers. But I, I refuse to believe that there can be somebody, especially in the modern time, Who's at the top? When you can run your own things, do your own uh, social media yeah. online. You don't have to yeah. take your CD somewhere. You can. Yeah. I believe. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still to be convinced, but uh, it's not make sure. I sh I mean, you know the, the other thing, man. Like I'm saying, already, those are just they're just discouraging in this industry. Yeah. The same people that you wish personally wish that I wish in class can mm. work with this person. Not to say those people they don't know me, mm. I don't know them. They know you? Yeah, we met a lot of... How many events they say, selling things, moms and six, I attend them. Mm. Yeah, they attend them. They would always say they wanted the same thing. Why not? What is one day we work together? Mm. We we'll work together. And I'm still saying, I'm happy with that, that they're just giving me false hopes mm. while my boat is running. Mm. But that's what makes me happy. Yeah. Because group famous in South Africa. How does that group come to add value in my family? How does that group come to add value mm. if Mudiman say I want to to my kids? Because mm -hmm. every time we become famous with songs, but always broke. Yeah. You become a star, they celebrate you out there, but your family doesn't celebrate you. <laughs> when you get home, it's always pain. But when you go out there, you are the most celebrity. That must be tough, eh? Yeah. That must be tough. So I don't want to go through that. I've, I think I've went through that. That's why I get hassled. I try by means, sorry. If if I don't get calls, if I don't get jobs, I create jobs for myself. Ne? Yeah. That's the best way of doing it. And the last question I've got for you is, if you were not born, if Tlax was not born, what would we miss out on? And it ties back to what I was asking you, of you doing the music of these people. Yeah. If you were not born, what would we miss out on? Maybe the question again. If Mandla Tlax mm. was not born, what would he miss out on? Yeah. Okay, let me put it. <laughs> uh, um, if Huma Sikela was not born, mm. we wouldn't have anyone playing that, that 
uh, they yeah. don't call it a trumpet. I don't know what that. They, it's like a trumpet. Yeah, trumpet. Yeah. No one would have played that thing like that. Mm, mm. That's you, Masiki. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 a lot of people they come and they bring something special to the industry. Mm. What is it that you bring special in the industry? Is may, maybe what I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> um, one thing that I know. Whether prepared or unprepared, I believe it's a, it's a calling that God has given to me. We spoke about it more than four times today. Mm. Any audience, anytime, anywhere, mm. I will always make sure that I deliver. And it will be, it's about a calorie that I deliver. I will now regard to my can you sit down. Mm. I don't tell people to stand up. Yeah. I've mm. never done, I don't remember when there was a mm. that was, Once I hold the mic, it's a must for you to go through your healing. It's a must for you to go through like a therapy session. Oh. So, so you can't, you can't just sit down. Go back Labari, but I remember when I was doing uh, Night with Legends. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was in the hot sticks, my boss. I mean, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I Is that what you guys did? Go Carnival City. Carnival City. Yes. Yeah, you wrote that one, eh? But I, you can go to YouTube. No, I saw it. Check. When I hold that mic, that's why I always, I always appreciate God with this gift. Mm. When I hold that mic, the Holy Spirit will continue. So, I think, I think if there's something that people know, come in the back of Misa, can is that thing of when he holds the mic, mm. you need to stand up. Oh, Brad, thank you very much for coming. I've got so much to ask you, but I see you're still cagey on those ones. It depends the next time. I get a part one. But uh, my brother, yeah. thank you very much for coming. But here at the Gospel Reality Podcast, how humble J Unji, how kambi usonor. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need to uh, appreciate you. Uh, thank you very much for coming thank you so from the much. Gospel. Hey. Thank you so much. Why? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Ah, you know, wow. I wanted to see who's gonna get the red one. Wow. <laughs> Everyone, all of them are black. Man, this is from the Gospel Thank Reality so Podcast. Much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ribita hot and cold. Yeah. Much more fucking to she say, like sass with her issues. Fire my eyes, lap on like sass with her. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And then, uh, and then um, we've got a uh, sponsor. That's not just clothing, ne? little of luck, you see, yeah. on, 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 on Instagram. So you must look out for little Tolaka. And then uh, this is a shower gel. Mom, I shall also like on the fire. So <laughs> improvise. <laughs> <laughs> this is from them. It's Thank a shower gel. Thank you. Thank you very much. It gets a zone. Yeah. Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I also a bit little.